Hi friends, today we are going to discuss about how we can change, mass change values of a particular invoice, vendor invoice. Okay, so here we go to FBL1 and okay. And suppose this is the vendor number I want to play with. Okay, and this I want to change the open items. So suppose here if you see this is the payment method and I want to change the payment method of all of this. So I, what I'll be going is I'll go here, edit, select all. And if you, and now click mass change. Okay. So here in the mass change, probably I'll, what I'll do is I'll put payment method as, suppose I'll put payment method as, T. Okay, let's see whether it takes it or not. Click on execute changes. Changes have been made if you see, but it doesn't update here. So there is two options. You can go here, click, select, refresh, or you can go back and come back. So here, if you notice, it was F. If I go here, now I refresh it, it becomes all T. So now if you want to see some other things that you want to change, let's see, select this one and we will see some other changes that we can do. Um, let's see what more we want to change. Uh, there is some text field that we can change. Let's see, we will try to change the text field also. So we will try to bring in the text field is there. That's the text. The text is there, which is the... Ah, here is the text field. So let's try to change all the text. Mm, and we'll so what we'll do, we'll select edit, select all, and I select this, and I'll, I'll make double changes, okay? I'll make this all F, the payment method, and I'll, here I'll put text this, and I'll put execute, okay? And here it says the changes have been made. So we click on list and we click on refresh and if you see this is t now now this didn't change probably there's another field that is hidden this text field so let's search there's something related with text text exists text id i don't know something text for priority probably this is the one uh, no but let's see which field we changed. Select one, because we changed it. Let's select function F1. So we want to see what, so it was the item text field that we changed selected. So it would be the item text field. So, so what we can do, we can go here and try to find item text. So let's see, item, line item, item, there's nothing here, um, so hmm. is this the field, function F1? So here, you, you see, this is the field that we changed text. It's not showing there, but it's showing here. So, so that proves. So this is another way you can, so we'll do another, another round of changes. Okay, we'll go select all. We'll click on this. Okay. And we'll make this uh, payment method. We'll make it to something different. We'll put F. Or E and we'll put this text whether we'll see whether this takes it like this as a blank well, so changes have been made it shows and we'll refresh click refresh it becomes E and now if I double click on it see the text has is gone so that's it so this is the way you can mass change uh, values 
uh, for multiple invoices at one go this is very handy for the ap person because they tend to change uh, they pretend to put payment blocks they tend to put payment method changes they tend to put uh, update the text and other stuff this is very helpful and it's very useful so you should be using as accounts payable person every day if you should be using it every once in a week if not every day so stay tuned to my channel and happy sap learning